Hello everyone, it's me, Keith Valentine, the Pickleball Pirate, and I have a great show for you today. We have the gold medal match from our St. Paddle's Day tournament that was here in sunny Winter Garden, Florida. Well, it wasn't sunny this day, it was a little bit crappy day, but hey, the games were out of sight. We're going to be bringing you Clifford Joseph, the Black Panther, Gary Galt, the little short, fast guy. We have, you know, Dave Nell, the self-proclaimed Badger. And uh, he's playing with a new guy named Ankush. And Ankush's last name is Malhotra. I hope I said that right, Ankush. Don't get mad at me, please, sir. But I would love for you guys to stay around. I'll be commentating this game. Please enjoy the show. All right, as we get in here to game two... Um, you know, they need to go to school here. Dave and Ankush probably need to change things up a bit. I'm thinking probably Dave and Ankush should stack with Dave covering the forehand side so he can control a little bit more of the court. Nothing again against Ankush. He's got great hands and great instincts, but he hasn't been playing a long time, and you have to have a lot of strategy when you're playing against better opponents. So let's see what they do differently. So there, that was a good exchange there. Dave took control of the point, got the better of Gary. That's what he can do a lot. Dave really likes playing that forehand side because he can cover a lot of court. Oh. Miss serve. That's definitely not what we want to do. We don't want to have missed serves on here. We can't give away any chances to score. 0-1-1. Zero, one, one. That was a good backhand shot. Dave really hit Cliff on the backhand as Cliff was moving. Cliff didn't stop uh, before he was coming to the net. You always want to stop before your opponent gonna, is going to hit the ball. Once they stop, then you can be in position. Another good, fast exchange there. So Dave's coming out really aggressive, trying to put some pressure on him, which he has to do. He has to take control of the court on his side. 1-0-1. One, Good dink exchange, a good uh, little bit of fast hands. They're coming out strong, coming out fast. Wow, that one's out. Okay, now we got four. Four zero one. They're coming out strong, coming out real fast, looking like they want to make game three out of it. So let's see what they can do. See if they keep this up. Gary on the leave there said leave it alone. Now let's see if they start taking advantage of Ankush, his, you know, newness to the game. Let's see if they just start going to him, trying to get some points on him. Uh, you'll see that in a lot of games. They will pick on who they perceive to be the weaker opponent or somebody that's struggling with a position or a shot. They will keep working it. And Cliff got him right there. Cliff caught him moving and put that ball right back down the middle. On the forehand side, you have got to cover the middle. You cannot leave the middle open like that. 0-3, I apologize, I said 0-4. Doing some dink rallies here. That was a good move. I think Dave kind of got caught over there. He didn't think that ball was going to hit the line, and it clipped the line, and he had to play it. And he was so far out that he didn't have... Um, uh, he wasn't in the right position to actually pull an Ernie and hit it or, or an ATP around the post. That was a bad drive by Gary. Gary got that one up too high. When you drive the ball, you want to drive it low to the midsection of your opponents. here. Now that one, Cliff probably shouldn't have touched it. Gary was in the right position, didn't have time to call him off. Really, that was a forehand shot.
Gary put that in. Nobody even uh, gave him any kind of pressure there. He's leaving that middle wide open. So Ann Kush needs to get more into that middle because Dave can't give up too much of that line. One, three, two. Oh, see that one, uh, Dave did not see Gary waiting to poach. Gary was sitting there waiting on that ball like he uh, designed that play himself. Well, that's, that's yeah, yeah. a couple quick points they just gave up there, letting them come back in. I think Dave wants that one back. 3-3-2. Great shot. Dave really put some pressure on Clifford. Clifford couldn't get a handle on it. He painted that line with that shot. And, uh, you know, Gary left the ball up a little too high. 3-3-1. Third shot. Dave really caught a good shot there. He caught Gary uh, with his paddle down, and he hit the ball up around his shoulders, but not hard enough to go out of bounds, so it forced Gary to play the ball. Now, once again, that now that looks like Dave missed that shot, but actually Enkush got that first third shot up too high, and Gary was able to start hitting the ball harder. You've got to get those balls lower and into that kitchen area if possible. Rare miss by Clifford. Again, caught him again. Ball on the court, they're gonna call a timeout. You know, th that's a great use of a timeout here. Clifford and Gary just need to kind of get their minds straight. So there's a good call out by Cliff, timeout by Clifford. Hey, let's get our minds straight. Hey, let's focus. Probably over there talking about strategy. Who are we hitting the ball to? Um, if I was them, I would be saying, hey, don't hit the ball to Dave because if I was going to play against him, that would have been my game plan is to go after Ankush because he's new to the game. And when you're in a tournament game, it doesn't matter. You are not friends on this court unless you're on the same side of the court. Afterwards, you can have a beer and you can hang out. During the game, it's blood time. Six, three, two, here we go. Nice little dink battle here. Good defense by these guys. And once again, see Clifford's quick hands, he got defended there. And uh, you always got to be ready for the ball to come back. When you hit the ball over, expect it to come back. Keep that paddle up. Good hands. And Kush had his paddle up that time. He was able to defend. Gary really didn't have a whole lot planned with that shot. He was just clipping it up there. Not, not necessarily the greatest shot or choice. You notice how they're really dink working in the middle, uh, working that middle, and Gary wants that one back. Put a little bit too much oomph on it. He had full control of that shot. He just hit a little bit too strong on that, that second uh, put back. Another miss on the third shot drop. Dave's little hop skip didn't work that time. I'll have to work on that with him. Good dink rally. 
um, and then and then you know Gary sped it up. You know what you're seeing, folks, is you, you know you don't really start the ball off fast when you have fast hand players on both sides. All these guys are used to hitting the ball quick, and so you don't give them anything to work with. You you stay in the dink so you can get a shot that you can do something with. And just like that, see they they Dave missed an easy shot and they were able to capitalize on it. Four, six, one, I believe is what she said. Just seeing a lot of movement on the ball. They're really working the dinks around everybody. Nobody really getting picked on. What defense? They're keeping this ball going and look at them work right back up to the net. Wow, Gary wants that one back. That was great, great defense. You see how they defended their lines. They stayed in their positions. They worked their way back up to the net. Gary had that shot. He just hit it a little bit wide because Dave is a hug in the middle, trying to make up some ground over there to take some pressure off of Van Kush. Five, six, two. Good serve to deep to the backhand there. Good put back. See, they, they got that third shot drive a little bit too high. Dave was able to hit it back to the baseline and put a lot of pressure on him. Good hands there. Wow, great defense. What a shot by Cliff to put that ball back. Um, that hit in bounds. Dave could do nothing with that. That was a great exchange by those guys. That's tough. That's real tough. Real tough. It's hard to miss a shot like that. A little bit demoralizing when you get brought into a point like that, and then you, you just kind of miss an easy putback. But you got to let go of it. You got to move quickly. Move on past the point. Have amnesia. That's what I like to say. Amnesia. See, Clifford got a little bit lazy with that. He didn't. He didn't move over enough, and he tried to to flip it back a little bit. Barely missed, though. I see, uh, you know, I, I, that's a hard one there because, you know, Ankush was trying to cover Dave because he kept getting moved off the court. Dave was actually back in position but didn't have time to call him off. Got a little bit high on Dave. Dave's been battling through a grip change. He's going a little bit more with an eastern grip. So that backhand is a little bit higher than he wants it to be until he figures out his angles. And you can see that every now and then he's getting caught just like that with the ball popping up just a little more than he wants it to. But, you know, once he gets through that grip change and figures it out, a little bit like Riley Newman, maybe he'll use two-handed on the backhand or maybe he'll rotate his wrist a little bit to bring that ball a little flatter. There by Ankush in the middle. Dink rally going here. Who's going to pull the trigger first? There it goes. Good defense. Another reset. Back into the game.
And once again, see Gary masks that very well because he goes in that squat position every time he dinks, and then he can just flip it really quick. Because he's from the same position, it's really, really hard for you to pick up what he's doing with it because he doesn't telegraph it because he does not bring his arm back really far. Wow, that was a great poach. He was moving well before that ball was ever struck. He had already made up his mind to go, and they did not pick it up fast enough. Got a little impatient with that one. Gary tried to hit that one a lot quicker than he wanted to. I think we got some people coming in off the court. Um, yeah, when you're doing this, you know, you know, occasionally you'll get a little impatient. You got to just kind of reset your expectations. Be patient. Wait for your shot. Play your game. Have always something in mind to do with your shot. You don't want to just hit the ball back. Have an idea of where you want to hit it back and the why. Ooh, Clifford was going for a little Ernie there. Wasn't quite far enough for him to get it. there. Second server, Ankush wasn't able to get that ball back over. Got caught a little bit flat-footed on that one. Great redirection by Cliff. See, the ball got up a little too high, and that's the danger. You put it up within reach with better players, they'll be able to redirect that ball and catch you. Once again, oh, wow, great poach, and then that's the game. Well, folks, you have it there. We have our champions. We have Clifford Joseph and Gary Galt taking home the gold. Let me just give you a little bit of pictures for you to take a peek at and uh, thank you guys for watching would love for you to click subscribe and like and we will see you next time on the channel